Hello everyone, sa video na to, i-discuss natin kung paano mag-convert ng degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius or degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. So, ito yung pag-uusapan natin dito sa video na to, ang temperature conversion. So, this is your Super Daily. So, ito formula natin. Pag magko-convert tayo from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius, the formula states degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 over 9. At pag magko-convert naman tayo ng degrees, far, degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit, ang formula natin ay degrees Celsius times 9 over 5 plus 32. So, see the difference dito? Ang fraction is, pag mag-convert tayo from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius, ang fraction na ginagamit natin pag mag-multiply is 5 over 9. Well, dito naman, pag mag-convert tayo from degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit, ang fraction na ginagamit okay, is 9 over 5. So, always remember this kasi karamihan ng mga estudyante, ito yung pagkakamali nila. So, tama nga yung degrees Fahrenheit minus 32, pero pagdating dito, Pag multiply nila, minsan nagkakamali. Instead, 5 over 9, nagiging 9 over 5. Same thing dito. Instead of 9 over 5, nagiging 5 over 9. So, always remember this formula para hindi po tayo magkamali in converting temperature from degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit and vice versa. Okay, so let's try and have some exercises in converting temperature. So, unang-una, convert the following to degrees Celsius. So, dito, lahat ng, may maraming tayong exercise, lima, uh, i-convert natin yung degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. So, given on the first example natin is 201. So, sabi sa formula natin, our formula is, if you convert it to degrees Celsius, the formula is degrees Fahrenheit minus 32, minus 32 times 5 over 9. Okay, so ito yung magiging formula natin na gagamitin natin all throughout sa exercises natin in converting uh, degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. So let's compute for this. So lalagyan natin yung value that is 201 minus 32 times 5 over 9. So we have to compute this. 201 minus 32, that is 169. 169 times 5, that is 845. 845 divided by 9, that is 93.89. And your unit now is in degrees Celsius. So therefore, C201 I equivalent to 93.89 degrees Celsius. So next example, let's try solving or converting 198 degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. So degrees Celsius is equal to 198 degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 minus 32 times 5 over 9. So let's calculate this one. 198 minus 32 is 166. 166 times 5 is 830. 830 divided by 9 will give you 92.22. And the unit is in degrees Celsius. Therefore, 198 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 92.22 degrees Celsius. Now, next, let's try converting 68 degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. So, that is 68 minus 32 times 5 over 9. So, 68 minus 32 is 36. 36 times 5 is 180. 180 divided by 9 is 20 degrees Celsius. Therefore, is 68 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 20 degrees Celsius. So next, meron tayo 118, convert to degrees Celsius, 118 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is 118 minus 32 times 5 over 9. So 118 
minus 32 is, one, uh, is 86. 86 times 5 is 430. 430 divided by 9 is equal to 47.78. And that is degrees Celsius. So 118 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 47.78 degrees Celsius. Okay, last one for this. We have 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Convert to degrees Celsius. So that is 92 minus 32 times 5 over 9. So 92 minus 32 is 60. 60 times 5 is 300. 300 divided by 9 is 33.33. That is degrees Celsius. Therefore, so 92 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 33.33 degrees Celsius. So very easy in converting degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. Now let's move on in converting degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. Opposite naman. So let's try these exercises. Convert the following to degrees Fahrenheit. So sabi sa formula natin, for us to be able to find the degrees Fahrenheit, ang formula natin is the value of your degrees Celsius. You have to multiply it by 9 over 5. See the difference? 9 over 5 tayo at hindi 5 over 9. And your last stage is you have to add 32. Do not change the process. Okay, You have to follow. You multiply it first, then divide, then you have to add it. Okay? So let's try and solve this one. So you have 68 degrees Celsius, you multiply it by 9 over 5, then you add 32. So 68 times uh, 9 is 612. 612 divided by 5 is 122.4 plus 32, that's 154.4. Four. And the unit is now degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so 64 is equal to 154.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's continue and have some example for converting degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. Second example natin, 88 degrees Celsius. So convert this to degrees Fahrenheit. That will be 88 times 9 over 5 plus 32. So 88 times 9, that is equal to 792. 792 divided by 5 is 158.4 plus 32, that is 190.4. And our unit now is degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, see 88 degrees Celsius is equal to 190.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's move on with 26. That is the value of 26 degrees Celsius in terms of degrees Fahrenheit. So that will be 26 times 9 over 5 plus 32. So uh, 26 times 9 is 234. 234 divided by 5 is 46.8. And 46.8 plus 32, that is equal to... 78.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So 26 is equal to 78.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's have our last two examples in converting degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. So we have here 18. So that will be 18 degrees Celsius times 9 over 5 and plus 32. So 18 times 9 is 162, 162 divided by 5 is 32.4, plus 32, that is 64.4. So therefore, see 18 degrees Celsius is equal to 64.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And for our last example, we have 51 degrees Celsius, convert to degrees Fahrenheit, so that is 51 times 9 over 5 and plus 32. So 51 times 9 is 459. 459 divided by 5 is 
91.8 plus 32, that is 123.8. So therefore, 51 is equal to 123.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? So yan po ang mga example natin, practice exercises natin. Kung gusto nyo pang matuto, okay? So feel free, you go on and practice and practice, practice converting uh converting degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit or vice versa. Okay? So, kasi pag na-practice nyo, mas ma madali matuto pag kayo ay nag-practice at nag-practice. Okay? So, I just hope we were able to impart some knowledge. We were able to teach you on how to convert uh, temperatures from degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit and vice versa. Kung may mga comments po kayo, feel free to write down your comments and your suggestions. Okay? Don't forget to like our video and of course, don't forget to hit that button and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you so much. More videos are coming. Thank you again.